reaction to, all right, you knew that it was a 50-50-ish. Well, yeah. It was close, and obviously it was if you're one of the last four out. So what was Sunday like in watching that where there's just more angst there than you've probably felt in many years? Yeah, it seemed like a long time between our last Pac-12 tournament game and, and selection. Uh, the closer it got to selection, the, the less confident I felt. And I don't know if that was just me trying to set myself up so that if disappointment did come, I was you know, a little bit more equipped for it. But uh, it's, it was disappointing. I could tell the team was really down. Um, but at the same time, I'm smart enough and been around the game long enough to realize we, we didn't do enough. We had a chance. We had our chances. Uh, if we would have just pulled out, uh, you know, probably one more win somewhere along the way, um, we probably would have been in. But we didn't, and so I kind of figured that that's the way it was going to go. You mentioned the team was a little, little bit down after. Could, what was, what's your messaging in a situation like that, and kind of how are you approaching this opportunity? Yeah, well, it's a really good question. Um, I, uh, you know, it's been a while since we've been in that, uh, the, that tournament, but what I've seen over the years, the teams that feel like they got snubbed and, and don't go in with the right mindset get beat early. Mm -hmm. And then people look back and say, yeah, see, they didn't belong. So we're trying to change that mindset. I think our practices have gradually gotten better. Today's was phenomenal. Um, we haven't really set our sights yet on North Dakota State, but our messaging has been, you know, we have a chance to continue to play. You know, 20 wins is still a magical number in terms of, of wins. You know, we're three away from that. We can still get a 20-win season. We can play at home, which is a, a positive. We can uh, play in a one-and-done, win-or-go-home kind of atmosphere and, and, and tournament so that it can help us in, in future years, like it did back in 2015? 15, 16. 16? Um, and, uh, you know, and like I told them, if, we can, if we're fortunate enough to win that first game on Friday, we play maybe on Monday or Tuesday, 52 of the 68 teams in the NCAA tournament will have already been eliminated. So I think at some point you kind of forget what tournament you're in and you, you're, you know, getting ready for a game. And hopefully you win it and then you get ready for another one. And I think they can really get into that. But uh, I think Friday becomes obviously very, very important. We need to have a, just a great mindset, competitive mindset to go out and win the game. So reading between the lines a little bit, Kelly, it sounds like you're not taking the posture of play angry because you were snubbed because we deserve to be there. It's play with some degree of joy and look for achievement and, and building on something, not play angry because you don't really feel like there's necessarily a need to be angry. You got that? Sure. Exactly. Exactly. I think that's a healthier mindset. Um, and like I said, I, I was really honest with the team. We didn't do enough. You know, we, we um, and we had our chances. So not to not to put anybody down. I'm just saying it could have been a different outcome and, and it just wasn't. So, yes, I think this is a healthier way to uh, to look at the tournament. Uh, fresh start. Do over. Let, let's go out and see what uh, what we can do. Are there any one or two players in, in practice today that you feel like have stood out above the rest in terms of like embracing and bouncing back from feeling down about it? Uh, I think all, everybody was down the first day. It was very silent when, when we went home. Um, and then we took the next day off. So I actually didn't talk to anybody for a couple of days. So we let it stew just a little bit, a little bit angry. Uh, the first practice was pretty ugly. And then it just, you know, got better and better and better. Um, Chance Gray, I, I thought she's really been practicing well. And she's one of the ones that can benefit from a tournament like this. And, and same with Grace. Uh, those kids also came back healthy, you know, that, that rest kind of helped them recover a little bit. Uh, Philly has been our best practice player the last three days. So that's a good sign. Um, and, and those are kids that can really um, use this as a springboard for the future. But so Grace is back to as close to full health as she can be at this point? Yeah, yeah. She just has bad ankles and that's yeah. something we're going to have to work on in the off season. But uh, she's playing through it and looks great. What are your, great. Well, you mentioned it, but what are your memories of that WNIT Final Four run? Because you didn't have Jillian, I don't think. Yeah, you know, it's it's really funny. And this is, and I, I don't like it when teams turn these tournaments down. And I guess everybody's got a different reasoning. But yeah, the last time we went, it was my second year here. Um, we had just kind of patched that team together. We brought Liz Brenner off the volleyball team. We scholarship to walk on. Uh, we had a couple of junior college kids at transfer. And then that last week, we lost both Jordan Loetta and Jillian Aileen the last week of, of the season to ACLs. And the team was pretty down. 
And I remember asking them if they wanted to play. I knew I did. My staff didn't. Um, and, and one player, Jacinta Vandenberg, stepped up and said, you know what? I want to play. And, and we did. And that's one of my favorite memories since I've been here. All those great teams that we've had, that's one of my favorite memories. We won three games at home, uh, playing really well. Then we go on the road El in El Paso. You know, and they hadn't lost the game. They were like 19-0 and 0 at home. We fell behind by 20 points. And God dang, we came back and won that game. Um, by the way, I don't know if you've ever been there, but they sh sell beer in these big cowboy boot-sized <laughs> glass containers. And they sell them at the game. So that's why they get really good. And then we went from there to South Dakota. So we had to have been the first team ever to do the El Paso vermilion south dakota road trip and then we we got ambushed there i mean we got killed and uh but we gave it everything we had we won four games that year that was maite and adi and lexi bando and it was a really good experience for them so that the next year when we had all those you know really good freshmen we had some people that had been through uh postseason play and and to this day it's still one of my favorite memories kennedy going to be available um, I don't think Kennedy uh, will be available Friday. We're hoping. Uh, off the off camera, I can tell you what what's happened there. Gotcha. Um, yeah, we just take is she the only player you're not expect. Everybody else is clear. For everybody Friday. else is clear. Yep, yep. Everybody else is clear. Because the portal is already open, and like you mentioned, with each mm -hmm. passing day, more teams will be out, and then the following day, more players will be yes. in. Yes. Yes. Um, Already Solic a lot of players in, only right, 300. Right. I so hear. solicit who you're shopping for. 35-plus uh, uh -huh. percent three-point shooters on the wings and <laughs> a uh, double-digit rebounder inside, I'm assuming. Uh, what else? Uh, best player available, whatever we feel like can help us. Yeah. Um, you know, we still have to uh, see who's who's back and who's doing what. Is Indy going to stay or is she going to go pro or, you know, whatever. Uh, we have some question marks still ourselves. But, yes, we're actively – We've looked yeah. in the portal. We've already made contact with certain players. Do you, in your planning stages, view her decision as a domino decision of an either or with your two guards? That if she comes uh, back, no, uh, no, we ha we haven't even gotten to that point. I I don't I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, have, has your I guess plan to use the portal change at all from the last year? Because I, I know it's 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 changing every year, and I think you're kind of figuring out the best way to utilize it. Did you yeah, shift it a little bit? Yeah, yeah, I, I think we need to just based on numbers alone. You know, we, we tried the small roster thing. We tried the big rosters thing. Neither has worked to uh, to our expectations or wants. So, um, but yeah, we'll be active. I, I would see us getting at least three uh, players from the portal. So if it's the not quite too small, not quite too big, looking more in the 12, 13. It's like Goldilocks, yeah. the three That's bears, right? Yeah. One's too hard, one's too soft, one's just right. Hopefully we'll find that combination that's just right. I don't know what that is yet, so we'll see. Do you, yeah. What value do you place on the veteran leadership component or, or proven tournament experience component when that's going to be another thing here, especially with the COVID year players where they have that quote-unquote freebie at the mm -hmm. end where mm – -hmm. Is that of high value? Is that something that like everybody can say, well, you know, yeah, I, I it, think like, again, really we're going to, it's a really good question and I'm not totally sure I have the answer for it, but we're going to, you know, basically look at the best player available that fits a, a certain need for us, you know, and it was, by the way, we obviously lost a bunch in the portal last year and only brought in one that was by design. Okay. Cause we really felt that grace and chance um, in those two in particular, um, are big parts of what we wanted to do. So we were ready to take our medicine, so to speak, and, and go with freshmen. But I think in the long run, it's going to really help us out because I think they got just great, um, experience this year and, uh, and they're going to be better for it than if we would have maybe recruited over them a little bit, uh, with a transfer of some sort. Do you want a tr more true four, a ah. bigger four? Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to talk about what we need. I mean, we need a little bit of everything. That's why we're standing here today. Yep.